In this video, we're going to talk through the electrophilic addition mechanism of bromine with alkenes. First of all, we've got our alkene. Our alkene here is propene, and it's electron rich. Uh, and it's something that's going to react with an electrophile. Now, an electrophile is something that is an electron per acceptor. Okay. So what we're going to do is, first of all, is draw up our, our electrophile, our electron per acceptor, which is bromine. Okay, it's a rather large bromine molecule. Let's shrink it down a bit. Okay. So, uh, what happens here is that as the bromine molecule gets closer and closer to the uh, alkene, the uh, the double bond induces a dipole in the bromine molecule, and the bromine atom which is closest to the uh, alkene is electron deficient. And we can draw a delta positive on this bromine. Uh, if we draw a delta positive on this bromine, we can we have to draw a delta negative on this bromine. Uh, it really doesn't matter for AQA if we do that or not. Okay, so I'm just going to make it slightly bigger, it's slightly easier to draw. Okay, so the first thing is that the alkene attacks this bromine atom here and we're breaking the carbon carbon double bond, the pi bond specifically, and then uh, we make a bond to this bromine atom. And then we break the bromine bromine bond also. Okay, and this second bromine atom here, it takes the first bromine's extra electron and becomes negatively charged and it forms a bromide ion. Okay, so now we get ourselves our carbocation intermediate. Okay, when drawing our mechanisms, we always draw the most stable carbocation and that is the carbocation which has the most number of alkyl groups attached to it. So in the case of this molecule here, put the positive charge over the carbon which is attached to two other carbons. Okay. The carbon on the end here this one only has one other, sorry, it's only attached to one other carbon, so it's less stable if there was a positive charge there. Okay. Now if you like bromide ion. Okay. Now it, the bromide ion has an electron pair on it. Okay, it's got a lone pair of electrons, and it's the lone pair of electrons. Remember to start your curly arrow at the lone pair of electrons and that attacks the carbon with the positive charge the carbon that is now missing an electron okay at the end of this reaction we form dibromopropane which I'm going to show here So in this case, it doesn't matter which of the bromine atoms attacks, oh, sorry, is attached to which carbon in terms of the overall product. Sorry, I missed a part of here. Okay. But in terms of the mechanism, it is important because we must always go by the most stable carbocation. Okay. In the next video, we're going to have a quick look at the electrophilic addition mechanism for uh, hydrogen bromide. Thank you.